Hi, welcome to the Northwest Maroon Football Show. I'm Josh Robinson. This is Offensive Coordinator Chad Fisher. This past Friday, we traveled to Chattooga High School and took on a very talented team who has multiple Division I kids on their team. Um, the running back is, already has five offers, Coach Fisher, and uh, the freshman wide receiver, number 11. Um, many people would recognize the name Devin Hester, who returned punts for uh, the Chicago Bears. That's his nephew out there playing. So they they had yeah, some talent. Absolutely, out there. they were a very talented squad. They've always been very talented. They've always had a, been a very athletic and very physical team in, in, in recent years. And we were fortunate enough to come out with a 38 to 14 victory um, on the night. So it was a good night for the Bruins. Uh, really felt like for the first time uh, that all phases contributed very heavily and equally to a win. Um, you know, I'm, that's not putting any one unit down or bragging on any one unit. I felt like we improved as a football team um, across the board. There's been times where the offense carried us, um, uh, the defense carried us, and I thought special teams has been pretty solid all year, but we kind of put the whole, uh, the whole act together. Yeah, we was able to finally – uh, I think the big thing that we were able to do offensively is uh, we were able to establish the run. That's something we have not been able to do the first couple of games. It was uh, very enjoyable, uh, very exciting to see us establish the run. Uh, obviously, Adrian had a great uh, great game running the football, and then we was able to throw it a little bit. Defense did their job and, and after the first series and really settled in and, and gave us opportunities, and special teams uh, continued to do their thing. So overall, it was a great night. Uh, let's take a look at some of the stats. Owen Brooker was 18 for 26 for 184 yards, two touchdowns, and he also rushed for a touchdown. Yeah, Owen played very well. He, he, he continues to get better, uh, continues to improve each week. Uh, really proud. Of, he, he took a shot early on in the game that, uh, that concerned all of us, uh, but uh, did very well, settled in, and, and, and played a, a fantastic ball game. And you've already mentioned Adrian Reyes. I thought he ran ultra hard. The O-line, you yes. know, it's what will be lost and all that for the other people, not for us, not for Adrian. Uh, Owen, those guys really, after a few early blitzes, uh, you know, they were, they were bringing six and crossing people mm -hmm. and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, that gave our offensive line a little trouble, and then we really started picking up the blitz and doing a great job for Adrian. He finished the night for 22 carries for 146 yards and two touchdowns. Yeah, Adrian's uh, been a young man that's been getting better each week. He does a really good job during practice and understanding what we're trying to accomplish when we run the football. And uh, Adrian had the bulk of the carries and, and, and did a fantastic job. Really proud of the way Adrian ran the football. And with Chase out, you know, we've got two defensive guys who are capable guys. Right. Uh, Damian Serrett and, and Dominic Smith. Dominic's a sophomore, and Damian, uh, you know, we haven't talked about it very much. It's coming off a uh, shoulder injury that basically he hasn't mm -hmm. played football in 19 months, and he's playing a new position in the secondary. So there's a lot on his plate, so it kind of works out best for our team, for Adrian, to get most of the the carries with, with those two individual situations, but they still contributed on the night. They did. Both of them did a fantastic job. They was able to get in there, whether it was one play or five plays, they were able to get, uh, spell Adrian enough to give him a little bit of breather and then get back out there. So the hats off to those two guys. Uh, receiving on the night, um, Ray Morrison had five catches, 104 yards, and two touchdowns. Yeah, Ray did a very uh, did a good job. He's continues to get better. There's a lot of things that he still needs to work on, just like any other kid does. So it's not it's not a pick on any kid by any means. But uh, he's he's starting to, to come into his own. He's starting to realize what the, what he can do out there on the field and what we can do with him and use him for. So uh, overall, really good night for Ray. Really good week of practice. Yeah, but as they get older, they learn and they, they perfect their craft a little bit. Matt, speaking of perfecting their craft, um, I'm sure Matthew wasn't perfect, but he played another really solid game and contributed with seven receptions for 37 yards. Yeah, Matthew had a, a really good night catching. So I was really pleased, and Matthew and I talked, actually we were joking around before the game, but it was really excited to see Matthew catch everything that was thrown to him. Uh, never didn't They kind of uh, doubled him up mm -hmm. at times, so it was hard for him to break free to get a long one, but uh, 37 yards on seven catches kept the, kept the chains moving, kept the drives going. He, I think three of those catches were for first downs, yes. maybe. Um, so big one, big one right before the end of the half when he went across yes, the middle. Yes, definitely on the digger out. Very good. Uh, Hayden Maynard come in, uh, came in with two catches for 15 yards, so a good night for him. Yes, glad to see him bounce back. He kind of struggled at times last couple of weeks, just getting used to it, getting used to, to more and more varsity reps and kind of settled into his own, did a really good job, made some good, really good blocks for us also. Uh, our other two guys, Braden Morrison, had a catch for 14 yards. Braden did a really nice job. Uh, nice catch on the slant early on. We tried to come back to him later on. 
and uh, for whatever reason, the route and the throw didn't match up. Uh, Preston Neely had a really good night, was able to get the ball. Uh, one for 11, we had him had a chance to, to throw him uh, a touchdown later on in the game, and we kind of had a, 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 a mishap in the backfield. So uh, sorry about that, Preston. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Preston, would have. he was wide open. He was running right down the middle. There was no pressure, and, and we kind of dropped the ball back there. <laughs> Uh, but Preston's done an outstanding job. Yes. He's just Mr. Consistent. He blocks so well. Uh, you know, he's had a game, I believe, where he caught five to seven balls, mm -hmm. and he's caught one ball this time. So it is what it is. Uh, you know, it, there's reads and there's things that happen. He's a good player. Yes. Uh, and then our freshmen, speaking of good players, we have a freshman, uh, Hudson Gray, who came in with one catch for eight yards. He kind of... You know, he's a talented freshman, mm -hmm. but he's a freshman and he's got a good group in front of him, but we really think he's going to be a good player. Yeah, Hudson did a really good job. He actually had another catch for a big game, but he got called back for a penalty. So, uh, and then, But Hudson's done really well. He's starting to figure it out. He's starting to learn. Uh, he's, he's kind of been thrown to the thrown to the fire early on, so it, it takes a little while for some kids to, for any freshman, I guess, to, to get their feet wet, but he's done a really good job uh, acclimating to everything that we're doing. And we have a deep group in front of you. Yes. you know, we've got some talented guys, five talented guys that are older and more experienced, and that's always makes it difficult for a freshman. Probably good because it makes him work, it makes him hungry, uh, makes him do the things he needs to to prepare himself sure. for the future. Um, at this time, let's take a look at the first half highlights. Here we are entering the field. Chattooga uh, spent a lot of money on their facilities, has a really nice campus, for, especially for a double-A school, and we scored on the opening possession, uh, seven to nothing. The, there was a little bit of issues there, but here's a good quick throw to Matthew Redman, the lineman getting out there. Uh, Adrian Reyes, you know, here's one of his first really physical runs where he picks up uh, some yards and isn't afraid of contact, and then we're running an a, a option route here, and Matthew does a good job of getting open, and, uh, it starts getting drugged down and not let go of, so he does a smart thing and, and gets down. And There's a really tight window, but a great throw and a great catch by Preston Neely uh, to pick up the first down. Here's another one to, to Braden Morrison. Does a good job getting down inside the five-yard line. And then uh, here we are on the run, and um, Owen ends up scoring to go up seven to nothing on the play. Uh, here's a, uh, the snap by Jake Fawcett, hold by Matthew Redman, and kick by Yahir Zapata. Yahir's had a really good year. He's missed a few extra points and uh, uh, field goal, but that was real because we didn't get the ball on the tee. Here we're trying not to kick it deep to this young man. He, uh, he got it on the first possession, um, and I, said, I think I said we were up, but they went up. Uh, we played really bad on defense on the first uh, series, but we were able to tie it. We were able to recover that kick that took a favorable bounce, and Adrian Reyes gets some tough yards. There we draw them off sides. Uh, here's Ray Morrison uh, on the, the post route doing a good job getting down inside that 10 yard line. And Adrian Reyes, again, you know, running against a whole bunch of bodies, uh, is able to find his way in the end zone uh, for, for his first touchdown um, on the night uh, to put Northwest up 14 to 7. Same people on the sna uh, snap and hold. Here y'all, here's a pot again, does a great job for us placing this kick exactly where we wanted. We do not want uh, those guys getting the ball, but Tucker Johnson comes down and puts a big hit on their running back, and their running back's a really talented individual. Um, we do a great job there. I believe that's Jordan McCamish um, getting in on, on some tackles. Uh, they are uh, tackle for a loss. Here's some pressure by Jaden Santiago, who really played his best football game of the year uh, for us. We really feel good about six guys that we have. We're a little slow recognizing the uh, screen right there, but a great job by Matthew Redman, and we end up making them punt, um, getting down on the field, and, and we've had not had a chance to return many, many kicks on the year. They get a uh, good kickoff. Um, but it rolls backwards, takes a favorable bounce for us. Here we'll run the jet sweep for Ray Morrison. Uh, ends up picking up 12 yards. I think he can really turn it loose there. I'm not sure he was uh, really turning it loose, but he has the ability. There's another strong run by, by Adrian. Uh, good job by our offensive line. We had Jacob Hardenback, a senior, uh, really playing his first football game uh, of the year. He, he started for us. Our, our sophomore, Dawson Wheeler, had done a great job. Um, that just, you know, you have a senior that's more experienced. And Adrian with another, another uh, strong run, good blocking by those guys, Dayton Cowart and um, uh, Harrison Kiker, Al Alex Starks and Austin Duncan. And here's a 44-yard field goal, I believe, by Yahir Zapata to put us up 17-7. to We're now kicking it off again. This time we go on with a ground bounce. They do a good job of hitting it wide, but Jordan McCamish jumps in. Jacob Dockery stays really disciplined and we're able to, to make a tackle. So that's 
good by Jacob and, and Jordan being the first ones down there and being where they're supposed to. Uh, good job scraping by Jax Brooker. He's a sophomore. He's a really good player for us. Uh, Jaden Santiago again uh, with them and, and Jake Fawcett, our senior. We really feel like we have an opportunity to, uh, to be good and our guys return, uh, recover it, uh, get the ball back there. Nice uh, fumble recovery by our guys. We really try to like to scoop and score, but our rule is when we don't Recover the first one, we try to do it after that. Uh, Hayden Maynard with a, a nice catch there, but unfortunately we stall uh, and end up uh, coming back on defense. Jordan McCamish with the tackle, they try to run an outside zone. Here they're running option, Damon Banta uh, uh, hustling down, and, and I believe Jacob Dockery uh, on the play, doing a really good job for us. Got to stay outside. Uh, we do a good job forcing him out. Good coverage there. I believe that's Keith McQuiggan and, and Damian Serrett on the coverage. Uh, pressure by Reyes De La Paz, who made his uh, initial return to the Bruins. Here's a good bounce, good cut, good run uh, by Adrian. Good job by our offensive lineman. Uh, nice trap here by Dayton Cowart. Does a great job of getting down and, and getting some yardage. Uh, here we are on third down. Uh, and Owen, this is the catch we were talking about earlier. Owen does a great job of getting the ball to Matthew Redman um, on, the, on the catch. Uh, Adrian Reyes here bouncing it out, gain, gaining six or seven yards. First down, we're trying to move fast here. Uh, good throw, little bit underthrown, got to step into that. We got a little pressure, but a good job. Uh, Ray Morrison on the catch uh, to put the Northwest Bruins up 24 with Chattooga 7. Uh, again, Jake Fawcett, Matthew Redman, and uh, Yahir Zapata involved in the extra point. Well, here we are kicking off once again. Uh, this one, we decide to go deep. We want to get that more over to the numbers. But Jordan McCamish gets down, gets up, and then makes an outstanding solo tackle. And uh, again, young man's got uh, five Division One offers, uh, most from the Sun Belt and Conference USA so far. Here we string him out the sidelines and we're smart. We don't hit him late uh, as he goes out of bounds and then they carry the ball right at the end of the half. They decide they're just going to let the clock run. Uh, we have a slew of guys in there. Uh, I believe Jake Fawcett, uh, Gian Gomez, who is also making his initial appearance for the Bruins. Uh, we go in at halftime with Northwest 24, Chattooga 7. Redman, number five, corner and receiver. I really like country music. Really, I like to listen to everything, but right now it's country music. I'm really into Morgan Wallen right now, and my favorite song is probably The Way I Talk. Really, I'm just by myself in my locker sitting there. I'm either asleep or listening to music. Just getting in the zone. I also play baseball, start shortstop, started since freshman year. That's pretty much it. My favorite moment would have been the final buzzer at Pickens freshman year. It was my first varsity start. We came out with a win. It's a great game. I am the shortest guy of our friend group. I've been 5'7 for about a year or two now. Everyone likes to get on to me for it. It would probably also be freshman year against Heritage. After Luke went out I had to come in and I believe I missed about four or five snaps. And just back to back. Uh, every night I would have one of my dogs come sleep with me and if I didn't have my dogs I was not going to sleep. I'm not done growing. I will get over six foot. I really want to thank my parents. My dad's always pushed me to be my best. My mom has done the same. She's loved me through everything. I also want to thank my friends because I wouldn't be here without them.
Welcome back to the Northwest Football Show. Uh, defensively on Friday, we started out uh, quite honestly very poorly. It's the, probably the worst series that we've had um, on the year. I, I didn't feel like we were flowing like we needed to. Uh, we were also facing really good athletes that their speed were, was a little bit different, but nonetheless, that's no excuse. We just started too slow, but then we really played well after that. I believe they had 60 yards on the first uh, drive and had about 120 the rest of the game. So that kind of shows you the difference in how we performed. On the night, our defensive line did a really good job. They continue as a whole. We've got some more people back. Reyes De La Paz uh, came back and had his first game. He participated in and did a good job for us. Uh, we had uh, Jonathan Caravu and uh, Gian Gomez. Between those guys, we ended up with seven or eight tackles and a couple of tackles for a loss and, and some pressure. So we felt really good about, about their return. Uh, on the night, Dayton Cowart, he only had one tackle um, and he was playing less time, which is a, a good thing. We can get him in and pass rush situations and other critical downs. Uh, he only had one tackle, but he also applied four pressures to the quarterback, which are big to get quarterbacks moving so they're not comfortable sitting back there. Harrison Kiker again, uh, all these stats are going to be a little bit lower because when it was all said and done, they started throwing the ball in the second half. Uh, and, and our front seven guys didn't have a lot of opportunities to tackle, and they're getting to rotate more. So there's a lot of good things going on. Uh, Harrison Kiker came in with three tackles and a pressure and a tackle for a loss on the night, so that was good for him. Our linebackers are typically well into double digits, but again, the first half we got a lot of opportunities. They tried to run the ball. The second half they were throwing the ball a lot. Uh, Jordan McCamish had um, eight tackles on the night, one pressure and one pass breakup, doing a good job for us out there. Really aggressive, really a leader for us. Jax Brooker came in with seven tackles, doing a good job, uh, and a, a quarterback pressure on the night as well. Jake Fawcett had six uh, tackles and two pressures moving around at his inside linebacker spot and they, we're able to rest those guys a little bit more uh, with Jaden, uh, Jake and, and Jax all playing well it makes it really good to where we can keep those guys fresh and, and they perform better quite honestly. All their plays were about the same uh, which, which is really good and what we're aiming for. On the night Damon Banta had five tackles, uh, two pressures, and the fumble recovery uh, on a really nice play that we'll see here in just a moment uh, where he takes uh, basically the pitch where they're trying to run the tall sweep. Jaden Santiago comes in with four tackles and a pass breakup as well. So a good solid night out of the linebackers, really did a better job. Missed a few more tackles than we have, so we've got to kind of straighten that out, but we were facing a good running back and, and you know, they really ran the ball inside for the first time uh, this year and, and our guys got put in some situations where they learned from it and improved during the game. Uh, on, in, in the defensive backfield, uh, again, not a ton of tackles because there really weren't a lot of plays on the night. When it was all said and done, our starters played about three quarters on defense. Uh, we ended up around 40 plays total. Matthew Redman had four tackles. Keaton McQuaig had five tackles, Damian Serrett three tackles, uh, Dominic Smith two tackles, and then Yahir Zapata, our kicker, is not just a kicker, he's a very talented kid we feel comfortable with back at safety. He's just so valuable a kicker. Um, we, we've got to make sure that we protect him, but he came in with a tackle uh, and a pass breakup. So overall, a good night. Our defense is continuing to improve. Um, we're definitely going to have our work cut out for us these last six games as we enter region play, but at this point we've kind of made the improvements we hope to make, but we've got to keep uh, the ascension on defense and, and trying to be as great as we can. At this time, let's take a look at the second half highlights. We deferred in the first half, so we opened the second half receiving the ball. And here's Hudson Gray, our, our freshman who's been returning kicks for us all year, does a good job of uh, putting his nose down and getting up to the 35-yard line. Hadn't had many opportunities to, to get some yards this year. Here Hayden Maynard does a great job, picks up a first down uh, for us. And then there was a chain mess up there, uh, and, and it really they put it second at 10. It should have been second at five, but still – a great play here uh, by our linebackers flowing to the outside. Here Tucker Johnson applies the pressure, uh, does a good job of making them throw high, tips off their hands, unfortunately, and, and they catch it on the sideline, so they're moving the ball a little bit. Here Damon Banta, who played another awesome game for us, has a hold of the running back. Uh, tough to hang on to a guy like that, but there you love the effort. He gets up and, and chases them back down to lose yardage. Here Dayton Coward applies pressure. Uh, I believe he had four or five on the night. We have multiple guys there to cover them. 
Uh, we're applying pressure again, making him evade the pocket there. Jake Fawcett is, is coming and he ends up overthrowing the ball uh, to make Chattooga punt. So we, we stopped their first drive there, the second half, which is a really big deal for the defense, especially when we have a big lead. Um, here, Adrian Reyes is uh, we're still running hard, gains about seven yards. I believe we threw an interception there. Probably one of Owen's only bad throws on the night. And here we, we're scrambling and, and end up uh, tackling the young man uh, there late. And uh, Damon Banta was towing the wide and out. We thought the toss was coming. He came off really good and almost, if he would have intercepted it cleanly, I think he would have, or I guess technically fumble recover, but he took it the pitch um, and ended up getting us back the ball. Adrian Reyes with a great run, but also a really good job by our uh, uh, offensive line. There you see the protection. They're bringing six guys and Ray Morrison with a second touchdown catch on the night and then Jake Fawcett on the, the snap again, Matthew Redman on the hold and y'all here's a pot on the kick to put Northwest up 31 to seven. Y'all here's a pot of this is probably the scariest kick of the night um, because it got back there really quick, but our, our kickoff team does a good job of adjusting and a, just an outstanding right. tackle by, I believe, Jacob Dockery there. Still really good. Um, good job here. We, we've got them covered. We don't really apply pressure, but we're where we need to be. We end up making them punt, so now we really feel like we can control the game. We've got to be safe with our, our play calling and what we're trying to do uh, up 31-7, to seven, and it's getting late in the third quarter. Great job blocking there, uh, Braden Morrison. Uh, out on the perimeter, our offensive line, Adrian Reyes picks up a big gain again. Here's the jet sweep to Hudson Gray, who again, he's a big talented freshman, uh, going to be a really good player for us. Uh, does a good job of gaining yards. Adrian Reyes uh, here breaking through, getting in the secondary, and at this point we've uh, we've really been really physical and, and Chattooga's having a tough time with it, and Adrian Reyes is just running over, around, and through people. Uh, I believe for a second or third touchdown of the night. So really great job by him and our, and our offensive line uh, really establishing their self on the night. And we go up 38-7. At this point, we definitely want to try to rotate people. It's early in the fourth quarter. Um, we can't really take everybody out on defense because of how talented they are. Uh, this was a great kick by Yahir, exactly what we wanted. Uh, great coverage there by Avery Perkins, who was getting uh, some significant playing time for the first time this year, a senior for us, who's just doing a really good job of pressure applied by Harrison Kiker. Got to do a little better job staying over top, but still not bad. Uh, there's Damon Banta again. You know, we do a good job of, of tackling him. Um, they end up uh, trying to throw it here outside to the, the Hester kid. and. He ends up, Damon Banta misses the tackle, but is able to make him change direction. Here we fly the football, um, and our guys are really doing good. They're, they're, uh, Keaton gets punched in the stomach by, the, by someone, but uh, nonetheless, a great play by Tucker Johnson. Again, he's going to be able to contribute to us, playing his first significant play in time, his second game of the year. So um, as he gets disciplined and, and does the exact same things that we need from everyone, uh, we're going to be in good shape. Here, a great punt by Matthew to get us out of the end zone. Again, we had safe play call, and they end up uh, scoring there. Uh, we come back on offense. They're, they're kicking it off. Uh, and again, Hudson on the carry does a good job uh, breaking outside. And then when he's contained, finally, uh, sticks his foot in the ground and gets up field. Here we are with our punt team coming out again. Uh, we, we let a lot of our JV guys play. Uh, we hit somebody with a kick, which is something that we try to do quite frequently, and y'all hears the pot or recovers it. Uh, we kneel the ball a couple of times to end the game with Northwest 38, uh, Chattooga 14. My name is Jake Fawcett, I'm number 44, and I played middle linebacker. Uh, my favorite music's co definitely country music. I like uh, Luke Combs, stuff like that. Uh, I definitely want to make sure I hydrate and eat right every every day before the games, especially like big games and uh, away games because we're traveling and you can get stiff and stuff like that. So. Uh, my most memorable moment would probably have to be whenever I recovered a fumble recovery uh, against Temple last year and scored for a touchdown, so that was pretty awesome. I'd probably just go to Arkansas because there's a lot of ducks down there and I like to duck hunt. Oh yeah, definitely. Freshman year, uh, 
I walked in the locker room and as soon as I walked in I knew something was up because all the seniors were laughing and my locker was kind of over with all the seniors and I walked over there and they put a turkey sandwich in my helmet like a couple days before and uh, had gnats and all kinds of stuff all over it so that was pretty rough. Probably last year, I can't remember which game it was, but they ran a, it was a fake on a PAT where they throw me the ball and I dropped it. That was pretty embarrassing. Well, for a while, I kind of believed in Boogeyman. So I always left my closet door shut because if my closet door was open, I couldn't sleep because I felt like the Boogeyman was going to come out of it. Well, I would definitely want to thank God because nothing's possible without God and my family and uh, the coaches. I love the coaches at Northwest and my team. Couldn't do it without my team. I loved my freshman team, sophomore, junior, and senior. I just love playing for Northwest. Welcome back to the Northwest Football Show. I'm Josh Robinson. Um, so starting out really well, 4-0, um, you know, and it's great for our kids and all that kind of stuff, but at the same time we've got to start uh, or continue to press forward and be as good as we can, uh, not read the, the press or worry about paper clippings or anybody telling us how great we are because we, we have tons of improvement to make uh, throughout our football team as we travel into region play. Definitely a, a good start. First time in a long time we've we've been undefeated at, at the fourth after the fourth game. Um, so I'm really proud of the team. Uh, but as we enter region play, we're going to start with uh, well. First, we have two weeks off, which is really unique. Uh, when we go to find games, it's really difficult uh, to find people to play us. Quite frankly, uh, and it, when when we're looking around, and we, we've got to not only find somebody to play us, but weeks have to line up. And all of those non-region games we just played, uh, those guys couldn't play the next week or the week after that. So really we were pigeonholed into having these two weeks off. And it is what it is. We'll continue to work at practice and do some things to be competitive and, and work on the fundamentals of football that we'll need as we travel to Central Carroll. Um, we will not see you again until after that game. Central Carroll is a two and a half hour drive. Um, you know, a, a very solid program down there. Uh, they've they're got a lot of good football programs around them. Carrollton's one of the best football programs in the entire state of Georgia, but Central is very solid, won a state championship back in the 80s, I believe. Um, and so we're, we're going to have a long trip and a lot of adversity to face as soon as we uh, get on the bus and, and trying to deal with those things. They have a really uh, talented quarterback and running back uh, and a Division I wide receiver that is going to uh, be a handful on the night. Some seniors, they're a very physical team. We're going to have to go down there with the right mindset, uh, playing a polished football game. They're going to have played the last two weeks, and we're going to have to knock the rust off and, and, and get after them pretty quickly. So it'll be an interesting game, and, and then after that, we finally return home the next week uh, to play against Cedartown High School. So, uh, you know, we look forward to that. There are a limited amount of tickets. Uh, for the Central Carroll game, we'll be putting out information on that for our fans. Uh, you know, even though it's a long drive, we definitely want you guys to go down there and support us. Until next week, for Northwest Football, I'm Josh Robinson.